Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. As you know, last night it came out that Canelo was going to sue um, the zone and Golden Boy um, for basically breach of contract. I told you guys last year that Canelo was thinking about leaving Golden Boy. He was the reason Ryan got a new deal. He forced him to give Ryan a new deal, if you didn't know that. And also, you know. He was going to leave for Eddie, but he also was considering considering joining Al, but he wanted to keep his the zone contract intact. So it was a move that was going to probably be over the match room. And if you see a few of his fighters like Julio Cesar and Martinez had signed the match room and not Golden Boy. So he was already prepared to get rid of Golden Boy uh, to begin with. And I'm going to kind of tell you what's really going on. I know people regurgitating and putting their own little twists and assuming what's going on. Uh, the rest of these Mark New Medias. And I don't like none of them, um, but a few. I don't like none of these dudes, man. And these dudes just assuming no information, just going off a tweet with Copper just saying. So let's talk about what's going on, the real deal, what's going on. Hit that subscribe button, share the video, appreciate the love and support. And uh, check our boxing news and boxing room playlist out for more videos like this. And to say, this is what, what I got. The problem is, that's so what I got last night. That's why I sat back and I didn't do a video. I'm like... I asked what's going on, and I was just ready for I waited for a rebuttal, but I turned it in early last night. But said so the problem is the zone wanted Canelo to take a 50% uh, cut and fight Callum Smith or Billy Joe Saunders, but Canelo said no. Canelo said he was willing to take a 30% cut, and he would fight one of them. Uh, then Canelo told the zone if they didn't want to pay him, pay, he would go to PBC and fight Uterman, and the zone didn't want it want to so they offered him 15 million and to be a part of the company and that's when canelo said f that so he meant the main problem is with the zone golden boy sends a list to the zone but the zone don't want to pay up so um so we're gonna continue once a lot it's a lot more i believe to that so right now you see the problem is this they want him to take a 50 percent pay cut um so that would be i'm not sure exactly what his contract is that's more than 50%. If you're getting 35 a fight, and it's more than 35 a fight, so hang on and learn learn what actually the numbers are. All right? So his part is 35 a fight. So they wanted him to take down to 15. That's around, that's over 50% pay cut. So he didn't want to do that, and they wanted him to fight Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders, which were more lively opponents than he had fought. You know, in the past, Kovalev was old and faded, Danny Jacobs had already been stopped and dropped by Sergio, Mar 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 Sergio uh, Mora. So, you know, he fought Danny Jacobs, got the full 35. He fought Rocky Fielding. That wasn't part of the contract. Um, so basically what's going on here, they want him to help break ground for the Zone UK, which is five, it, him and Billy Joe back in May was supposed to be $5, million, $5 a pound for, you know, a special, you know, for a special night. I'm not sure exactly what the Zone UK numbers was going to shoot up to for a monthly subscription. But they also laid off some people in Brazil and the United States, and they're going through some financial turmoil as well. And they want to go international to help make up for that Canelo, uh, that Canelo contract. They also wanted Canelo to go and fight Murata in, in China or Japan, and they was going to start the zone Japan on that. So they basically want to move Canelo around the world, you know, t television wise and, and, and person wise too. They want him to go to Japan and fight him for the sake of uh, the company to make some of that international money in because. United States market ain't hidden right now, but um, he don't want to take the split. Um, he don't want to take the cut. So that's the, one of the main reasons why he want a 30% cut. Can the zone want to do a 50% cut? Said the zone is going broke. The zone uh, broke the contract, bro. So Canelo would have the chance to fight somewhere else and be a free agent. So Golden Boy is not that far, bro, according to sources. They get five million for the zone every time Can from the zone every time Canelo fights, plus the live gate. So in total, the zone was paying forty million guaranteed for every time Canelo fought. So every time Canelo fought, it wasn't just thirty five million. Can the zone gets five million? I mean, Golden Boy gets five million dollars every time Canelo fights, plus the live gate. 
So pretty much the live gate and the and five million dollars. So the zone is basically making money off subscriptions. There's no commercials and maybe sponsorships and copyrights. So I I don't know if Golden Boy gets the rights to this to that to this to these fights or they share the rights with the zone. So the rights are very very important, you know, to show the fight. So that's a lot of money. It's just like royalties and music, you know. So if people want to show this fight or or they want to purchase this fight. They got to pay whoever owned the rights. So I'm imagining the zone own the rights to most of these fights, especially if they give them the live gate plus five million every time Canelo fight to the zone. So they might share rights to the fight, but also the zone is just getting paid off subscriptions. It may be the copyrights to these fights and maybe sponsorships or whatever right now. So um, and they losing money off this contract and the pandemic is the one that pushed them off the edge. So um, there you go. So Canelo is getting 40 million. Well, Golden Boy is getting five, and every time Canelo fight, the zone coming out of pocket forty million dollars. Don't tell me where else you heard that at, you know. So keep sharing these videos and, and letting people know the truth, and not you know the fake truth or uh, regurgitating what coppers are say and putting your own twist on it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but the problem here is the zone because they're not approving the opponents, and they're also lowballing Canelo. So the opponents that they was trying to fight first, it was Triple G. He wanted to fight Triple G. Triple G said, no, I'm going to go ahead and fight Camille Zamata. So that, that fell off. Then they was talking to Ryota Murata about fighting December. For some reason, the pandemic, that fell off. Um, they was going to fight Billy Joe Saunders in May. That fell off because Billy Joe didn't want to take the pay cut after they restructured the deal for him to get all just under $8 million. Then Lemieux was an opponent they wanted to do. The zone wouldn't approve it. Demetrius Zandra was an opponent they wanted to do. The zone wouldn't approve it. Jason Quigley was in there. The zone wouldn't approve it. The only opponents that the zone were willing to approve, approve for him was Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders. And they got to the point where just last week they wanted to do Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith was out the running as well, too. So um, that's what's going on there. So all the opponents that Golden Boy tried to do from Golden Boy, uh, from Triple G, he said no to Andre, Quigley, Lemieux. And it could be some other dudes. Ryota was in there. They all turned down those opponents. So only opponents they wanted him to fight was those British guys. And, you know, he didn't want to fight them for $15 million. Um, Golden Boy had the right to not let Canelo fight during the pandemic because there, there's no live gate. But they were still willing to do it. But the zone don't want to pay for what they had agreed on contract for every time Canelo fights. So basically the zone is breaching contract, but we'll get there. So the only one to pay him $20 million, uh, $5 million for Golden Boy, 15 million for Canelo. And no money for the live gate since there's no audience. So Golden Boy would be taking a significant hit because they don't make no live gate. They just would be making a five million. So no live gate, you know, no money. So that's what's going on there. He said, but let's not forget that just because Golden Boy is not at fault doesn't mean that Canelo is in good relationship with them. He is planning to leave Golden Boy anyway. And I told you guys, he wanted when he was getting good relationship with the zone, all his fighters were going over to match room julio cesar martinez with a few other guys so if him and oscar was good why would not bring martinez over to, to golden boy and don't forget when ryan got that new contract that was because of canelo canelo got him that new contract not because of ryan not because oscar wanted to do it they wanted to keep canelo happy so at this point he was leaving golden boy anyway i said this a year ago i said this about a year ago that he was planning to leave golden boy so don't forget that because they effed up last year with the Dervichenko fight and how they've been treating him and Ryan. All right. Um, the zone only wants Canelo to fight top quality opposition or opponents. Canelo is saying that Golden Boy, Oscar, De La Hoya, and the zone are incompetent. That's, that's a, that is a shame that he had to wait for the UFC fight with, uh, for Kovalev. We fought Kovalev. Pretty much that they're not good for Ish. And then do their job. Canelo was saying that Golden Boy, um, Oscar in the zone can't do their job right on the lawsuit. So, I mean, at the end of the day, um, he said what he said. You know, he, he unhappy with Golden Boy. That split was going to happen in a few fights. He just sped it up. You know, the zone breached the contract. They Apparently, they didn't have a pandemic clause in his, to his knowledge. So, they got to pay him the 35 he wanted to go over there and fight Uterman. The zone wouldn't let him go over there and fight Uterman to get the bag and come back. So right now they had a standstill. You know, they had a stalemate. And now, you know, this could be held up in court for years. It depends on, you know, how much power, how much clout the zone got, how much power, how much clout 
uh, Canelo got, and can, you know, Oscar De La Hoya is on the brink of both of them. De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, and uh, the Zone is on the brink of extinction. You know, these dudes are on the brink of extinction. It's over with. Because if you lose Canelo and, and Ryan Garcia, the Zone probably gonna file bankruptcy. And the Zone, I mean, the Oscar and them gonna file bankruptcy. Probably the Zone will in the United States. It's a wrap. You know, and we know Canelo probably going to Al. You know, Bob can be can be there, but I think, you know, it was some talks that he was leaving Golden Boy. He was considered Matchroom and Al Heyman. And the only reason he's going to go to Matchroom is because he wanted to keep his zone contract. So he, obviously, Al Heyman was offering him a ton of money to come to Showtime and fight Uterman. So he was getting more than 15 million to go fight Uterman for the WBC title. The zone wouldn't let him do it. So now they don't want to pay him the money. They don't want to let him go get money and get a belt on Showtime. So now it's at the point where Canelo might be hung up for a while. So now Triple G is the face of the app. Triple, they was planning on doing Canelo and Triple G in May, and now that may not happen. All right? So Triple G the face of the app. I don't know if they're going to force him to fight Demetrius Andra, but it's funny how even though Canelo making about $20 million more than Triple G, it's funny how they're trying to force Canelo to fight Billy Joe or Callum Smith, but they never forced Golovkin to fight nobody. They could have forced Golovkin to fight Canelo. And they could have paid everybody what they were supposed to get paid. But they let Can Can Canelo, they let Triple G go fight Camille Zamata. Supposed to be November 7th. Nobody wants to see that fight. They let him fight Steve Rose. And remember, the Rocky Fielding fight for Canelo wasn't part of the contract. So, you know, Canelo looking at it like, alright, man. And also, don't forget in the beginning, Oscar De La Hoya lied and said that Canelo would commit to fighting Triple G. In his contract, and Canelo said no. So Canelo got a lot of firepower to get out this contract. And if he do, he had it over to Al Heyman. And I think we pretty much all know that's probably going to happen. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's the end of the app right there. You know, it's the end. They might as well file bankruptcy. You know, they might, it might, they might say, okay, well, let's keep this out of court. We'll pay you your money. We'll do this. We'll do that. We'll give you whatever you want to get to keep you over here. But now that he's suing, De La Hoya going to lose his best client. And the zone are gonna lose their best ticket puller and subscriber puller. So you know how much those those subscriptions are gonna drop off now that Canelo not fighting this year and may not fight again. They might as well hang it up and say, Yeah, I think you need to let it go. Let it go now. Looks like another the zone TKO. So that's pretty much what's going down. So he been beefing with Oscar. The word on the street, he po been posted at least. So go to boy promotion is gonna be like Gary Shaw. That's over with. They might just get absorbed by Al. Al might take on their fighters, or Top Rank might take on their fighters, or they may release all their fighters from their contract. You know, Virgil Ortiz in trouble. Ryan, Ryan get picked up easy. Ryan and Virgil gonna get picked up fast. So now we can do a situation if they, if the zone is out of it in the United States, now it's just Top Rank, ESPN, Premier Boxing Champions, Fox, and Showtime. So, I mean, you know, if there's gonna be like Magneto on one side and Professor Xavier on the other side. And they still not gonna make no fights happen. It is what it is. But I'm I, I heard that Canelo was considering leaving out leaving for out last year, but the zone contract kind of stopped him. So I mean, maybe you see Earl and Canelo now come to light. I mean, Charlo and Canelo. Um, you know, Danny Jacobs probably gonna come back over to Al too. So you might see a lot of these fights happening. Ryan might get picked up by Mayweather Promotions or Al. So you probably gonna see Ryan and Tank fighting. So, you know, De La Hoya dropped the bag big time. When he got in trouble and he split with Al Heyman and all that, man, he had it made. You know, they had it made. And now he's struggling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they said Canelo, they didn't have to let Canelo fight without the live gate, but they was willing to. But, you know, them in the zone, Oscar, Oscar and Golden Boy in the zone, they just didn't have a good working relationship. They wanted to try to force Canelo to fight opponent for, for less money. And that's kind of what's happening over there with a lot of different networks. You've seen T.O. and Lomachenko, you know, T.O. crying about money. Like, come on, man. He didn't really want to take a pay cut or a massive pay cut. A lot of these fighters don't want to take a massive pay cut. Then you want me to go fight the best. And that was the rumor that was supposed to be going on the street was this, you know, after the pandemic, we were supposed to get the best fights. And I'm like, without a live gate, I don't believe it. And a lot of fighters balking. Andrew Reeves balked at, you know, whatever they was paying him to fight Areola. They, they pretty much came to a common ground. That's why Fox looked the way it looked. Fighters weren't willing to take premier fights for less money. And that's just the honest truth. And CBS just had a, bag, a bigger bag, and they got the best schedule. But, hey, at the end of the day, you know, for Canelo, Oscar dropped the ball. Canelo dropped the ball. It's unfortunate. Um, I mean, Canelo, I mean, Oscar and DeZone dropped the ball. But we see. Maybe they can, like, heal. Maybe they come to agreement. You go fight over that PBC, come back, 
and fight Golovkin when the fans could be in the stands. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business question, cry response, your video request. Keep sharing the videos. Uh, one make a donation, Cash App at CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. And on, once again, you can follow me on all social media platforms. You got a Facebook group if you ever need to reach out for a business question, cry response, your video request. All my social media links there. Appreciate the love, support. Check out our boxing room news playlist for more videos like this. Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.